Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where today I apparently have like four skill points to use so I'm just going to try and see if I can find out how to use those before we continue. So I am apparently at level seven and yes the health points and everything like that have been going up but apparently I should be able to uh here we are knowledge so we've got a nice skill tree here took me long enough to find it right so I've got gathering, wood, stamina, oh ga all right, a gathering tree, we've got a workshop tree, a combat tree, and a social tree. Okay. I've got four points apparently. So EXP uh, gained, stamina points include I I increased. 5%. That'll be quite useful. The XP gained from logging and kicking trees. Yeah, I think things that increase my EXP would be better to start with rather than having more stamina because it'll get, get me more levels faster. So why don't we go with some stone knowledge? What else have we got? EXP on the assembly station, EXP on the work table, stat increased from furniture, okay. I think for combat, I probably will leave that one for now. I'll probably do mostly in gathering and stuff. Oh, it looks like I've, oh, I have to use them in certain places, okay. Well, that helps a lot, actually. So, some stone knowledge, and that's opened up advanced stone knowledge. So, 10% chance to return two points of stamina when hitting with a pick hammer. Or I could go with some sort of gathering uh, knowledge or tree knowledge. I might go with a little bit of gathering knowledge as well, so... That way I'm making a little bit more... A little bit more EXP with all the things that I'm doing at the moment. I would definitely say that the workbench, the work table, is where I'm making most things at the moment. The assembly table will probably start to come in a little later down the line. So, made a couple of things on it, but okay. So there we are. That's all of my skill points spent. So it looks like I've got levels in all of these things, like level two in uh, gathering. Sorry, in workshop. Level four in gathering. I'm nearly at another level in the gathering actually. So there we are, so that's how that's going. Got my photo album, calendar, my social. My loves, my, my relationship perks. You can filter these by buddies, friends, sweethearts. Oh, that's good because you can kind of, don't have to do as much scrolling through. There's quite a few people I haven't met yet as well. So looking forward to meeting them. I don't think I've met Fang yet. I met him in the demo, but I haven't seen him yet uh, in this particular playthrough. Uh, it's saying there's new stuff in social though, but I'm not seeing what the, why it's saying new. Why, why are you saying new? I've had a look through. Not sure on that one. My handbook. My quest log, my map, my inventory. My character page. System, which is just the, the menu. Okay, yeah, well, I've had a look at all of that now. Let's go out and do some quests. Finish this stage off, maybe. See what's, see what's what in the... Uh, in the place but yeah that's gonna help me a little bit right so today's quest the, the one that i'm gonna do first because my machines are all like totally backed up is to do the feather duster quest make a feather duster dust off my machines and then go and dust off the stuff for, for burgess as well so this letter is to inform you the clinic has new medical trials available these trials will be away available available on wednesday and friday Effects and side effects may not be in line with all customers' expectations. Fan Clinic reserves the right to interpret the effectiveness of said products. Ingest at your own risk. 
Okay. And jest is with a G, by the way, guys. Come on. <laughs> to be fair, though, like, um, as much as I jest, the... Jest as well. Uh, as much as I jest, the... <laughs> The localization in this is is already doing so much better than Porsche. I feel like you've really like stepped up. Okay, so uh, let's go to the Commerce Guild. I will have a look for. I wasn't allowed to do a a, 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 com a commission yesterday, and uh, it looks like Mian has got all the good commissions already. Copper bars, bronze bars. Give me 30. But do I know how to make bronze bars? I think I know how to make copper ones. But if we did bronze bars... Alright, let's um not take it. Just Oh, a basic awning. I don't know how to make that though. Yeah, bronze bars would be the way forward, definitely. Because at the moment, Mian is kicking my butt. She's actually kick in my butt so i need to be able to work on these things so i also want the feather duster guide but i want to make sure that i know oh no my inventory is full oh you know what though i have money so i can just increase it this is this is what i do in this game i just i don't i'm just like i need another inventory slot what well i would just buy one then <laughs> It's easier than going back and forward, but I do need to make sure I've organized everything. It was flashing at me to tell me it was it was full and I ignored it, so. <laughs> Hello, Grace. Okay, so we're gonna make this feather duster and we're gonna be getting those machines back into, back into use. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to do an awful lot. And I want to have a look on the furnace. And see if I can make bronze bars. I can, but I need to have tin ore. So we need to see if we can find some of that. Definitely, definitely do. Right, let's go and have a look at what we need to make a feather duster. So I'm going to need two wooden sticks. Which I should be able to make already. Lovely. I'm going to need five feathers and too thin fret thin thread do i have any feathers i do not oh i bet i know where i got to get those feathers i bet you anything i bet you anything i've got to get them from mm, the roosters haven't i yep mm-hmm Oh, yeah, I did a bit of a sort so that it would... Def it, it's nice they've got the same inventory system as Porsche, I think, and you can sort of sort things and it'll find things that are already in that uh, particular storage box and it'll put them away for you, which is lovely. I like it a lot. Oh, I could go... I've got 12 data disks as well, so I could definitely go do something with that. Right, so we've got to go and kill roosters, have we? All right, then. So I could do with a sword and shield for that. Stone sword. I've got enough stuff to make a stone sword. I also have enough stuff for a stone sword and shield. But I make my. Why don't I make a stone sword and shield? And that's actually something I need for a quest. So if I've got enough stuff to make a stone dagger or stone sword or something like that then I'll do that too but I don't really so I'll use the sword and shield until uh, until I don't need to, to have them anymore so right we need to go and kill some roosters and nick their feathers and then I probably need to make another storage box let's face it Our roosters aren't too hard then. 
Did I get like any feathers from that? Or oh, so my inventory too full to take the feathers? <sighs> Can I drop something? This is getting stu stupid annoying now. I got a rooster rocket. Well, that's great, but like feathers? Eggs, pelts. A feather, okay. No feathers on that one. Feels a bit slow, the combat, to be honest. Feather number two. I need like five feathers. Wow. I'm gonna need to kill a lot of these roosters. Yakmel. I don't need no Yakmel. Oh, roosters! Yeah, so I need to sort out my inventory, but I also. <laughs> Yeah, I also need all these rooster feathers. Like, I'm sure I need about five of them. I've got two so far. And, uh... Yeah, I've got to sort my inventory out and then I've got to try and find tin as well. I think there's some more roosters over here. Yeah. And there's the train! I think that one had a feather. I need to defeat the rocket roosters before I can get the blue moon sign. Okay, let's just get on it before they completely hit, uh, hit me <laughs> with their rockets. Um, or dodge those rockets. Frightened rocket rooster. Defeat! I shall defeat you and I shall regain the blue moon sign. Or well, at least I would if you would like let me hit you. There we are. Why right, did I get any feathers from that at all? Right, we're on three now. I also have the blue moon sign. But my inventory is full. <laughs> get more inventory again then. This is a, this is going to be the whole reason I do any commissions at all. Will be so I can actually have. Inventory full of stuff. That's one more feather, so that is four feathers out of five. Oh man. Where's all the roosters? I need more of you. Oh, roosters. I want your feathers. Oh, little tiny roosters. Oh, that sucks. Can't make my feather duster then. With no rooster feathers. I see a rooster. Why, hello! Let's get out of the way of their rockets. No feather. How about you? You got a feather? I'm just after some feathers right now. I can stop killing you and your brethren once you give me enough feathers. I will then be happy. I think I have enough for the feather duster now. <laughs> and it'll be like, you have too much in your inventory to pick up a feather duster, by the way. And I'll be like, no. So I think we need to get some more boxes made. Um, I don't know how much wood I've got or whether I've got enough to make another box. Might not. mini storage box. I need 10 wood for that and I do not have 10 wood. Let's just see if any anything will stack. 
and give me a little bit more inventory space. I kind of did. Not very much, though. Um, well, let's make the feather duster at least. Oh. Wooden sticks? Did they? Have they gone in here? No, I made wooden sticks, though. I'm so confused. I thought I had enough wooden sticks. I thought I just made some. Maybe my inventory was too full. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Okay, there's a ton of wood scrap up the top here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use uh, the wood scrap from up here to make myself... But it's only wood scrap I'm getting, so I'm gonna have to recycle it. Brr. And in order to recycle it, I need my feather duster so I can use my recycler again. So this is all just in a bad, bad place. It's all in a in a downward spiral. So what I need to do then is to take down enough yak thorn and stuff like that. To get myself enough wood just to make these wooden sticks and get the feather duster and then I can uh, get the wood scrap sorted. Uh, people were saying anything up to the ball cactus is fine for chopping down, anything bigger than that and it's going to be a problem for Mr Burgess. So I, I, that's apparently where the where, where you draw the line. You can have yak thorns and all that sort of thing but anything that starts to look like it has a trunk on it by the looks of it uh, does not count. Oh, it does count, sorry. And it doesn't look like it has a trunk on it. So these cactuses apparently are alright. I don't know what I got from that though. <laughs> not much by the looks of it. But it was saying that within... The, I know there's a mushroom there, but I don't have enough inventory space, I don't think, to pick it up. Um, right, so we've got ten wood there. Let's take that back to my house and, uh, and use it to make sticks. Use that to make a feather duster. And I can start thinking about storage and things like that. I, I'm going to struggle badly to take a commission today, I think. Yeah, inventory is full. Oh, do you know what? I bet those are sticks on the floor next to me as well. So let's just get some more space in the inventory because honestly, I really should have uh, messed around with the storage before now and I didn't and that's my fault. Right, I got my, my feather duster now. Lovely. Okay, let's use that on the recycler. Um... Oh, perfect. Everything's all nice and happy now. So, fill up the fuel with some dregs. And, looks like I can then process all my wood scrap. I think we'll do wood scrap rather than copper scrap. I could probably eventually do with a recycler for each type of scrap. And just keep putting them through um, add more to it only 10 at a time queue is full okay that's fine for now so that'll give me some wood um, let's dust away all the sand some on the assembly table as well cool so that's my workshop sorted and then probably in the morning I'll sort out the stuff for Burgess but in the meantime I've got a, like a nice bronze pick hammer there's no way I can't make bronze right even if I have to buy it <laughs> just to get the reputation points that's true I could actually just buy it if I wanted to but I don't 
let's just take that uh, for Rocky and see if I can get that done tonight because I've got 90, oh and 90 uh, stamina still so I reckon I could go down into the mines and try and see if I can find some some tin or something and try and at least vaguely keep myself level with or catch up to Mian. But she is like totally, totally kicking my butt right now. So even if I have to have like tiredy eyes tomorrow, it doesn't matter. I think there are ways to get rid of the tiredy eyes as well. I think there's creams and things you can buy to put on it or something along those lines anyway. What? What? My pass just ran out. No. Ah, uh, and that was my birthday. Nobody even gave me a present or anything because nobody likes me yet. So I figure that next year's birthday will probably be the thing. And, and thank you to those of you who wished me happy birthday, but it wasn't my actual birthday. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see if there's anything that I can sell for a bit of money. How much money do I have? 164 spent it all on buying stuff but I'm going to need a pass for a week so I need to I need to get some money together for that so can I sell things here I can indeed so that's quite nice what have I got that I could sell I could sell rubber scrap and I could sell in fact maybe selling actually copper ore might be a good one because I can always get more of that just sell my copper bars and some of my copper ore mm. what nitre I don't know if I should be selling that really I've got rockets from the rocket rooster I've got a lot of those and I don't think I really need them do I Carp. We always fish a couple more of those up. And um, animal pelts don't tend to be too easy to replace. Yakmel horn. Marble. Hmm. I could sell one copper stick. Right, that's enough to get me in. But we are like taking a lot of time today to do stuff. But that's fine. I made my feather duster. I had to kill a lot of rocket roosters to get that feather duster, so. Okay, so I want so badly. I could put the blue moon sign back. I've got like Five. Yeah, I could probably be all right as long as I don't get too many like relics or anything like that. I'll probably be all right just going and getting a bit of tin. That's what I want to try and do down there. So I'll go and buy my weekly pass. I'll just go and get some mining done. I'm not gonna worry too much about scrap. I'm just gonna go straight in and uh, use the mines instead. We can have a bit more of an explorer of them, even if it is nearly... I don't know if it kicks you out at midnight, because it used to kick you out. You need to be down to about level 5 before you. there's a chance you'll get tin. I'm going to enter and see how if I can get down to level 3, or even to level 5, that would be quite useful. That's taking the elevator, okay. Paradise Walk. Welcome to Paradise Walk. There's a chest there. There's a lot of cool stuff here. And bombs, apparently. Nice. I guess that means I don't have to... mine through 
use up all my stamina. That looks like a door down. Lovely. So we're just going to try and find our way down as far as we can. This is cool though. Oh, power stones. Be careful though because I'm going to need some stamina for general stuff. Um, so let's have a look at my bag and see if I've got anything I can eat. Or whether I left all my food at home. I left all my food at home so you need to be really careful. Sleeping is good for your health. I know. But... Okay, that doesn't look like a way through. I'd love to get to level three. looks like a door I'm going through it let me in let me in let me in oh that was ins this is insane it, it it's kind of like all over the place I'm so sorry if anyone feels a bit travel sick here Oof, it's, a, it's on a weird angle, isn't it? This doesn't look like it's going to take me down a level, though. I'll quickly return to the entrance from the map screen if you need. Nope, I want to keep going down. Okay, I'm coming back here in the morning. ruins. I think I got to level two. I might have got to level three. Um, we'll have to try again in the morning, I think. Oh, it's like two in the morning. I'm going to knock myself out at this rate. But I feel like getting down to the tin level of the ruins is going to mean that I can make much more expensive cool stuff. Um, but if I could quickly... Oh, I can't even do that, actually. Maybe if some of my wood scrap is done, I could maybe make a storage box and then I'd not be in quite such a pickle with all of that. I hate the, the beginning of the game. You're so, so, so poor at the beginning of the game. I've got 11 wood there. Oh, <laughs> it's the first time I passed out. <laughs> Pandakin achievement unlocked. <laughs> okay, but I still got my full uh, stamina back, which is wonderful, and we're going to use it. I'm apparently exhausted. I apparently have three points to spend, though, skill points, so that's awesome. But yeah, I am going to go mining. And Pen, you might be wondering why you're home in bed safe and sound. As you may have already guessed, it's all because of me. But honestly, I should be thanking you for giving me such a laugh. I just happened to be in the neighbourhood when I saw you hunched over like an overindulged mutant. You were drooling and everything. Ha <laughs> ha, but I digress. <laughs> Don't worry about compensation. Bringing you home is to me. <laughs> to me. It's to me what lifting a feather is to you. Sorry, I'm too busy laughing at him. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay, so me and my panda eyes... Um, are firstly going to make a box. And then we're going to put it next to the other box. Hopefully. If I can. Oops. Uh, cube to change. Tell if that's the right way around. I think so. Right, so then I can put some stuff in here. So I don't think I need to take my big sand helmet or any of my scraps with me. I'll keep the scraps in there. My bumble ant honey. 
my rocket or anything like that. that, that rib meat for monsters, no. I don't need none of that, like. Stick it in a box. Oh, I did have beef jerky on me. I was saying I didn't have any food, but I did. So I've sorted everything. We've got a, a good little bit of room now in there. So I can run around the ruins now and pretend like... I see, I, I will need more, more space, but it's fine. Why don't we put the blue moon sign on? And, uh, and and Owen will be very happy, I'm sure. So, get onto my hot bar. Let's see if I can find where it goes. It gets up here. Install. Blue moon sign. This is great. It's a whole tale again. <laughs> Thanks a million. <laughs> And I got 120 goals off that, which is great. I'm so struggling for money right now. But once I've gone down to the mines and I've like got loads of stuff that I can go and sell, hopefully the money situation will start to improve a bit. So that is what we're up to now. So we're taking our bronze pick hammer. So that's really cool that we've got that because it'll take a bit less stamina. I'm going to go down into the mines and I'm going to see whether I managed to technically get to level 3. Whether it was only technically level 2. We've got the whole day just to just to check out the mines i can't wait to like it looks like there's an awesome like hazardous ruin there i can't wait to check out i can see all the enemies and everything i did not get to level three okay let's enter at level one i don't know whether the elevator will allow me to go down to level two or anything like that whether i can only go down to level three So, I managed to get a certain... It doesn't look like it resets, though. So, I managed to get so far in. All the way down here. So, that I think that's level two. Because it's definitely, like, loading in a new level for me. Okay, so... But what we're looking for is tin. So, I need to get all the way down to level three or so. Gonna pick hammer out. Right, let's start mining a bit. I want to mine as little as possible. And I made it down these stairs. And I think if I carry on down these stairs, I might get down to where I need to be. But I just ran out of stamina just very slightly early. Hmm. I say that, but it seems to only be the stuff underneath there. Okay. Maybe it's a dead end. Oh, come on. Let me through. Do I need to dig down in here, then? Give it a try. Well, okay. I was actually at the way down into what I think is level three. Yes, we're at level three. Wonderful. So I can take the elevator down here and I should be able to get tin. In here. And that looks like it just doesn't go anywhere. So let's try this side. See if I can get some tin nodes. I sold a lot of my copper, so it would be useful to get copper nodes as well. So Paradise Walk, I'm guessing, like, they're saying that the hazardous ruins and things are in, like, an old mall, so... There we are, tin ore. That's what we need to get our bronze. Now I've walked past a lot of stuff like this. This is this looks to me like it might be something useful. I don't know. Maybe not. Like cardboard boxes and all sorts in there. It does look like it should be something. Uh, F, you scanner. Okay, your goggles can track buried relics as well as pathways to new areas. Oh yeah, you can see the, the relics under there. Okay. 
Don't know how it shows up new pathways. Oh, I see. It tells you how to get to your new... How to get down. If I scan in here, will it tell me where there's another way out? data discs as well. I do need to go and get the grinder and things. That looks like it could be a doorway. But I am still trying to work out how to scan for doorways. Need me directly at a relic. Oh, I see. I think there might be a doorway through here then. It's trying to tell me there is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Run away. Boom. Oh, this is super interesting. I'm going to make myself a way through, though. Come on, don't... don't. Penalise me on a t on a pixel technicality. Okay. Wow, this stuff's all really interesting. Not really found much tin yet, but. Come on guys, I need like a big room that's full of tin. Alright, so we do still have the whole Porsche thing of um, massive things of copper ore. But the nodes are there as well. Interesting. An upward staircase. Okay, I've ran out of stamina for the day again. And how much tin did I end up with? Not an awful lot. Six. Okay, well, I'm going to head out of here. I got my scan. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, definite relics. Well, I got. I think I got to level four, maybe, there. So I can start again on level 3 and just keep going down. Uh, where's my map? Map. Transport to entrance. That's interesting, isn't it? So I've got to look around for tin as well. You can see like there's loads and loads and loads of copper here. But there's not a ton of tin. Whereas I think maybe as you get lower down there'll be more tin. But okay, let's um let's head home. Spent all day in here actually. And I need to have a look and see how much <laughs> It's going to take me two days to do that commission. I hate it when commissions take me more than a day. It really irritates me. But, like, I am really early game right now and I don't have the the skills to do things at the moment. So I'm hoping that as I skill up a bit more, it's going to be a bit more helpful. Um, let me take my, my points as well because uh, I can maybe increase my stamina a bit. Especially if it's gathering points I've got. Yeah, let's increase my my stamina as well. You know, I I did the I did the work of uh, getting the gathering knowledge from mining increased, and I am rocking through the levels. I'm nearly at another level on that one as well. So, 
rocking through the gathering levels. So let's see, uh, like, how much I, I need to do. So how much in my quest log? Which is quests, that one. Sandrock commission. So I need to make nine. And I only have, like, a few bits of tin. So I'm thinking that nine might be a bit too much. But how many can I make? I can make three. Okay. We are making three bronze bars. I need to make six, so I'm going to have to go in there tomorrow. I also need to somehow get like wooden sticks, copper wire, glass and copper loudspeakers for that quest as well. Uh, and I need to use my feather duster, but unfortunately I've got like no stamina left. So unless I eat a bit of food, which I could do. Oh, that's health. Okay. And that is also health. Um, and then dried sand breeze is also health. Oh. Meat is stamina though. Most of my food is health food, not stamina food, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna just head to bed. And we'll work some more on uh, making bronze in the morning. Oh yeah, I've still got all those skill points to use as well, haven't I? Hang on a minute. Yeah, I've got the sword and shield. But I'm like, should I give away another sword and shield? We could talk to Pen about that. Hmm. But anyway, knowledge points. So I've got a point in combat. So I could increase my long range weapon damage or my melee weapon damage. I think melee weapon damage or health. And I'm kind of going towards melee weapon damage, I think. It's cool that you, the way that you get your, your points though. But anyway, I think as much as... Uh, as uh, it has been a lot of mining this episode and a lot of killing roosters <laughs> so that I can get a feather duster. Um, I think that unfortunately, oh man, I've still got another, what didn't I use my point in? In my workshop point. Okay, let's have another, another one for making things on the work table, shall we? And I can do, I can uh, have some fuel slowing down ones and all sorts next. That's very, very nice. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go to bed nice and early so that I can get rid of these panda eyes. And also, it is time for the end of the episode. So yes, we have done some exploration in the mines. We've gotten to a point now where we've got tin, um, but I'm not finding very much of it yet. So if I can, I'd like to go down a couple more levels. Uh, we will. We've got all the sand off the machines. Uh, so next time, I will go and I'll do a quest with uh, the quest for Burgess, and we'll get rid of all the sand off the machines. Uh, so I think it was his plants actually, wasn't it? We'll get the sand off his plants and I'll make another sword and shield for Pen and we will try and get that commission done. That was maybe a little bit of an ambitious commission for where I'm at, but I feel like I'm never going to catch up to Mian, let alone Yan, if I don't start being ambitious with these commissions. So, you know, and Yan is not quite as annoying. Well, actually, in a way, he's almost more annoying than Higgins because at least Higgins, once you got to know him, his ambition and his over sweatiness about everything was really because he was trying to help his family out. Whereas Yan just seems like an absolute like shyster. So maybe he is actually more annoying than Higgins. You heard it here first. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.